and a very warm welcome to Bharata First Time Frank Rausen Pereira. This is FRP Explains. Bad news coming out of Unnao in Uttar Pradesh where 16 doctors who are in charge of clinics and other duties have tendered their resignation because they are upset with what has been happening and how the administration has treated them. At a time when the country is going through such a rough phase, the least that we can do is ensure that we provide a conducive atmosphere for our frontline warriors and workers. These doctors are putting their lives on the line on a daily basis to save us. When all else has failed, when the system has collapsed, when we ourselves have not followed COVID appropriate behavior, these doctors have ensured that they have been a lifeline for us. So rather than making their life difficult in lengthy procedures, in paperwork and getting all of these other things done, we should provide an atmosphere for them where they can carry out their duties, that of treating patients and doing what they do best, not administrative work. This is just not done. And this is the case across the country, not just in one place, in one state. Everywhere, I've sp spoken to several doctors, most of them government doctors, complaining about this same very issue, about how they have so much of paperwork and so many other things to keep tab of and to take control of, where they are not able to carry out their primary duties of that of a doctor. Rather, they seem like administrators and not doctors. This is something that we can change overnight. It doesn't take, you know, rocket science or, uh, or major brains to come up with a policy and change this around. Just tell the doctors that your job is to treat patients or you don't even have to tell them. Just don't overburden them with other work and the work that they are supposed to do will just go on because they have done it endlessly, tirelessly, with, without sleep, without rest, without anything over the last one year or so. They will continue to do it. All we need to do is give them a free hand to just do their job. I don't understand why the administrators and why the politicians just cannot do that. I understand that there is tremendous pressure on the political class from the public at large because the political class has failed us and they are trying to make amends, but not make amends this way. There are so many other things that they can do. They might as well do that rather than put so much of pressure on the person who's actually doing the job on the ground. These doctors have come out and said that, you know, the kind of language that has been used has been inappropriate. They've been given deadlines that can never be, uh, that can never be met. And nobody is even listening to them about what their suggestions are for vaccination drive or for ca carrying out tests or any of those things that the doctors have to do at a time like this. There was this famous infamous incident that took place last month in uh, Mumbai, Maharashtra as well, where a Tuchusa corporator, Shiv Sena corporator came out and used the choicest of words against the doctors there doing their work in Mumbai. <laughs> The doctors then came out immediately and protested and said that this is not done and they called for better working conditions. Can't we give them that? Is it not our duty to just allow them to go ahead and work? That's all they are asking for. They are not asking for the moon. They are not making unjustified demands. They are just saying, appreciate what they do. Or at least if you can't appreciate, don't criticize what they are doing. Because what they are doing is God's work. Let them continue to do that. That's it on this edition of FRP Explains. 
If you like the content, please like the video, subscribe, hit the bell icon and then all notifications. For those of you who would like to come forward and make a contribution, you may do so by using our UPI IDs. A small contribution that you make will go a long way in us bringing you this content. That's it from me. See you again next time. Thank you.